Welcome back to East Link Magazine and the Old Schoolhouse Restaurant. It's time now for our cover story. David Howell is a true artist in every sense of the word. His medium is paint, and his subject matter, traditional landscapes. David Howells was born in England and moved to Canada as a child. He's now the vice president of the Hans County Arts Council. His work has been exhibited in Toronto and Yorkville, Ontario, as well as the United States and England. He's been painting for as long as he can remember, and it shows. What I love are traditional pastoral landscapes, and they're a little bit old worldy, and um, and uh, there's always that thing of the, are they out of fashion? And it's always a concern, but especially when that's where your heart is, it's your natural reaction to things. And um, in general, some sort you know, you, know, so you ask me, you know, what do you paint? You know, about what what do I paint? Um, I'm always drawn to simple things, you know, rather than something grand like a bear or a, a moose in front of a mountain. Um, just showing a simple scene, you know, what people would take the Sunday drive for, and show the beauty in those scenes. And uh, you know, that's what I love the most. Untouched landscapes really attract his attention. However, once in a while, he likes to challenge himself by adding another dimension to his paintings. Architectural landscapes are far more complicated for me than, than a regular scene. Um, I love perspective, and it's a great challenge to play with what you've learned. Having this ability to adapt from one style to another has caught the eye of collectors. The Clockmaker's Inn, for example, has a one-of-a-kind masterpiece, cherished by the owners and guests alike. We're really happy with it. Um, he brought it over to us a few times so we could, there's a couple little things that we had to change them and uh, so everything is, it's bang on and we're just really happy with it. All the guests love it and we start talking to them about David and then we show them his other paintings and uh, yeah, it's just, it's perfect, it's beautiful. Dr. Amir Ahmad has the largest collection of David's paintings. The latest count puts it at 17. Pretty amazing, considering they met completely by accident. We met uh, several years ago as uh, actually it was uh, my English uh, patient. I met him in the emergency room in Windsor and uh, um, started chatting. And uh, over uh, uh, time, got to know each other. He introduced me to what he did, and uh, we went uh, and met him um, at his uh, gallery in uh, in the area in the valley and um, just loved his uh, work and uh, been collecting since. David admits most of his paintings come from just a single snapshot, though he knows that at any given moment, with different light and shadows, there are areas of the photograph that need to be filled in. And that's where David's talent really shines through. It's come about over 20 years of painting, that transition from realism to whatever it is I'm doing now, and some sort of it's hard to put a label on. It is, it is one. It's a form of realism. Um, a, a high realist, a photo realist, could look at it and say, "Boy, you've really loosened up. You're very loose." And then uh, the average person looks at it and says, "You know, I can't believe the detail. You're so tight." You know, and, and I sit back thinking, "What do you do with that?" But um, like I said, fi it's five layers of color. But um, the real painting comes at the end, and and. Uh, and that's where I go with a small brush and the brush is on fire, dancing around. And, and what's actually happening at that level is, is magical. Um, and until then, you know, it's just the end is nowhere in sight. You know, you, you feel like you're toiling away for days. And I think that's a problem when, until the painting starts to speak to you. Like I, um, a thing I love is when you're about two thirds of the way through a painting and, and uh, you know, you, you look at any, any part of it and you can feel it's going right. It's starting to look really, really good. And that's the point where I really get into the painting. In Ellershouse, Hans County, I'm Dale White for Eastlink Magazine.